Danny, thank you for coming. So we finally figured out a way to uh, get this whole thing going. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through a few slides um, that actually tell you a little bit of a story in lung pathology and is different from the regular thing of pathologists that say, oh, clinical pathologic correlation. These are things that tell you a story and are, are, are things that are really very valuable findings in lung pathology. And I'm, I'm going to start with a normal finding and then I'm going, going to go into a couple of um, just um, uh, abnormal findings of all different kinds. So hang on tight, sit tight for a, for a fun experience. All right, so Rifat, can you let me know if the um, if the visual quality of the slide is is uh, is okay? If not, I can always lift this up like this and back up a little bit, and actually hold um, hold the phone in my hand. I could do it like this. So, all right, the first thing we're going to talk about today is this structure, which is one of my favorite normal structures in lung pathology. It was better before, huh? All right, so let's put it down here and just leave it because the way I set it up before, I didn't have to hold it in my hand. Give me a second, yeah. Give me one second while I try to position this thing in a stable way. I think that's pretty much the best I'm going to get for stability. How does that look, Rifat? Great. The other thing I could do is switch to my other cell phone and I'm not sure if that's going to make that big of a difference. But we could try it that way. Uh, but let's let's go ahead like this. If the um, visual quality of the, if you can see this, can you see my arrow river? Then I think we're pretty much uh, home free. The other thing I could do is slide back a bit so that you see more of the screen like this. How does that, how does that look? A little better? All right, so what we've got here is, does anybody know, Rifat, do you know, or Kalyani, what, what is this structure that I'm so, um, so enamored by? Left side is more extra, maybe I can, Turn it like this. How is that? That's better? All right, fantastic. So what is this structure? Anybody? There is a, there's a small blood vessel here and then there's a thing next to it. So in the lung, there's always a blood vessel and a something that runs together. You guys wanna take a guess? Or else I can, um, I can let you know what this structure is. So this is actually called a bronchovascular bundle. And the structure that I am really uh, enamored by is this thing called a respiratory bronchiole. And the, the fun thing about this respiratory bronchiole is, first of all, nobody really knows what it is, especially uh, residents, medical students. Nobody knows because people are stuck up on this thing called a terminal bronchiole which is a useful concept, but you never, never really see it in a lung biopsy. So the thing you actually see is a respiratory bronchiole, which is the smallest last portion of the bronchiole before bronchioles turn into lung parenchyma. So in this particular field, you can see these uh, lining cells are actually ciliated columnar cells. All these cells down here, these are ciliated columnar cells, the same as you would find in a standard bronchiole in lung parenchyma. Which, is, which you know goes all the way around and then is surrounded by smooth muscle. But in this particular instance, it does not go all the way around. In fact, it transitions into alveolar epithelium. Is that uh, visible, Rifat and Kalyani, can you see that? So there's alveolar epithelium up there and the bronchiolar epithelium kind of transitions. So it becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and disappears and then it turns into alveoli. So this is kind of the gate. This is the gate if you think of the um, the conducting system or the bronchioles as a as a hallway, and if you think of the alveoli as a room, then the respiratory bronchiole is the door 
that connects the hallway to the room or the hallway to the office. It's the last um, sort of junction. And it's important because a lot of stuff in the lung happens around this region, probably because airflow sort of stagnates at this portion. A lot of things get deposited here. Smokers, macrophages tend to accumulate here. Dust, dust tends to accumulate here. Lots of small airway injury tends to center around this area. Granulomatous infections happen here. So this is a respiratory bronchiole, something that I would like to teach each and every medical student and resident if I can. And the one other thing that you learn from this particular picture is that a bronchiole and an artery always run together in the lung parenchyma and that's called a bronchovascular bundle. As this becomes bigger, you get a complete round bronchiole that's called a membranous bronchiole that goes along with a larger branch of the pulmonary artery. As you go more proximal, you get a bronchus that runs with a more proximal branch of the pulmonary artery. So that artery um, and, and airway pairing always uh, holds true in, in uh, lung pathology. So that's really a fantastic concept. So just to wrap that up, this thing is a respiratory bronchiole. Again, I'll, I'll uh, raise that so you can see that. It's a respiratory bronchiole. And that's one thing that is really cool to know in lung pathology, something that not everybody appreciates.